Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about padlock props. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. So what are pa padlock props? Padlock probes are type of nucleic acid probe that can be used to detect specific DNA or RNA sequences in a sample. Uh, padlock probes were first described in 1994 by Nielsen and team and the authors demonstrated the use of padlock probes for specific detection and uh, genotyping of DNA sequences. Padlock probes have been a valuable tool for genetic analysis and have undergone further development and uh, optimization for various applications. Let's see the structure of uh, padlock probe. So these padlock probes are designed as a seen, uh, linear single standard oligonucleotide with uh, two arms that are complementary to the target sequence and a linger region that connects the arms forming a loop like structure. Here you can see the structure uh, when the padlock probe hybridizes to the target sequences the arms are brought into close proximity and a ligation reaction can be used to covalently link the arms together. This will create a closed uh, circular molecule and uh, this circular molecule is then amplified using rolling circle amplification to generate larger number of copies of the circular molecule which can easily be detected and quantified. So that is the, how the padlock probe works. Now coming to the comparison of uh, the Tacman probe and uh, padlock probe as you are uh, aware Tacman probe is widely used in uh, PCR chemistries. Pa Tacman probes are fluorogenic uh, probes that work based on the principle of uh, fluorescence resonance energy transfer or the FRET. The Tacman probes consist of a uh, double labeled uh, probe which, uh, which is having a reporter at one end and a quencher at the other end. And when probe binds to its target sequence, uh, the, the TAC polymerase which amplifies the DNA cleaves the exonucleus activity of the TAC polymerase, cleaves the probe and uh, releasing the fluorophore from farther away from the quencher and the fluorescence can be detected. Whereas uh, padlock probes are linear single standard oligos uh, that are designed to hybridize to the specific target sequence and forms a closed circular molecule. Uh, the closed circle can be amplified using the RCA and they generate large number of copies and this can be uh, used uh, to detect in various different methods like fluorescence or uh, lateral flow or uh, real time uh, amplification etc. So these are the uh, differences between Tacman probe and the a padlock probe. Let, uh, let's look at the different applications. Uh, the padlock probes uh, have a wide range of applications in molecular biology due to their high specificity and sensitivity because there are a hybridization event and the ligation event happening so that increases the specificity of the padlock probes. Some of the applications include uh, genotyping, pathogen detection, gene expression analysis, cancer diagnosis, uh, prenatal diagnosis and uh, environmental monitoring. So, padlock probes can be used for genotyping by detecting the specific genetic variations uh, including the SNPs. For pathogen detection, this can be used to detect uh, specific pathogens including viruses, bacteria by generating unique sequences in their genome. Padlock probes are also used in uh, uh, measuring the gene expression levels. Uh, and in cancer diagnosis, this can be used uh, to detect mutations in the DNA sample and which is very useful. Uh, the main advantage uh, what I would say is that uh, uh, this can be done in isothermal condition does not require a uh, PCR cycling or it can be done the RCA can be the rolling circle application can be done in a uh, isothermal fashion or or, yeah, or on single temperature is required. So you don't need uh, an instrument uh, with the heating and cooling you just have to maintain a temperature at 37 degree. So that is a great advantage for uh, use of this in a, a point of care or resource limited settings. There are several advantages and uh, some disadvantages also for this uh, technology. Uh, the advantages include uh, its high specificity, high sensitivity and uh, detection of uh, SNPs and versatility and main, th main thing is the cost effective nature of this. And uh, this, the disadvantages can be mentioned as uh, there are some challenges in designing the, uh, the oligo sequences and it requires further optimization directly it cannot be used in the PCR reaction it requires some, uh, some amount of uh, optimization and it also in includes some additional steps like uh, ligation uh, and rolling cycle amplification the more and more uh, uh, you know uh, once it is start widely using more and more uh, technology will be developed to uh, mitigate all these issues uh, so it is a great potential 
to use this in a resource limited setting i i am i'm sure that uh, there will be more and more applications added based on this uh, you know usefulness of the padlock probe so that's it for today if you like the video uh, please like and share it with your friends thank you